A good trailer hitch isn't cheap and a cheap trailer hitch isn't good. So there's a few things I wanna get right when I'm buying a trailer hitch and that's the drop. And I measure the center of the receiver hitch down to the ground and subtract 14 inches. Next is the shank. I measure the inside diameters, diameters of the trailer hitch to make sure I'm getting the right shank size. Once I've got the trailer hitch up and mounted, I'm going to recommend investing in a good class three, four, or five locking hitch pin. Now for us, we need the universal capability to tall a ball and, a ball and coupler style trailer or a pinto hitch. This Boss Gen Y does both without me having to swap out hitches, but it's got a nice little feature that I like the best, and that is a tongue weight measuring guide right on the top. It will give you your minimum and your maximum weight to make sure you're safe and secure before you're going down the road. A good